But with that being said, I'm going to pray us in, um, and then we're going to eat, and in the name of Jesus, and, and, and in good faith, we're going to go turn up on the dance floor <laughs> and get lit. Now I'm all for weddings, I'm all for people getting married, I'm an ordained minister myself, I've married plenty of people, I've had the honor to be able to marry all of my siblings um, actually and that was something that I never thought I was going to do considering that I'm the youngest. <laughs> I'm the youngest of all and I've had that honor to do that and that was something that was it was definitely a pleasure you know people you don't really know you know what that means when you're asking an ordained minister to uh, marry you on one of the biggest days of your life, you know, that that means something, you know, that you, you want our name on your marriage certificate, you know, we have to sign that thing, we have to fill that thing out with some of our information as well. So that it, it's definitely a, um, it's, it's a heartwarming uh, invitation, if you will, to, 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 to ask someone to marry you and your spouse. Now, this couple here, young couple, God fearing couple that you're getting ready to see, they had a great speech. Now, the only thing that I think that I might have an issue with, or not an issue, because that's a little too deep, and I don't want to make it bigger than what it is, but the only thing that kind of made me kind of go, hmm, was the fact that I do notice that at a lot of weddings, they're usually, uh, I'm not sure if we have an understanding that this wedding and, and, and is to honor God, it's to honor you know, our union before God. I think that sometimes, a lot of times when it comes to weddings, it's really just all about the bride and the groom. So what this bride and groom did, this young bride and groom, it was inspiring and it was something worth sharing because although I think the guest and the audience, if you will, <laughs> was kind of thrown off from it because you don't typically see this at every wedding because it's not traditional, I think it was still necessary for them to say this, and I'm glad that they did. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. Here we go. The reason um, we are even here is because, man, we have been saved by, by a great God, and um, we love Jesus. We love Jesus more than we love each other. That might sound foreign, but, but even though we were sinners, um, Christ came. I mean, think about the brilliance of God fully God, fully man, only a God can, can take on an eternality of sins and only man can die. So God being the full, the God man, Jesus Christ came, lived a perfect life that we could not live and rose from the dead three days later. later. And, and that's our hope. Um, and, and we trust in that, we cling to that. And uh, today I just urge you all who, who don't know Jesus, um, like I said, this is this is my mic today, and, and I encourage you guys. Um, I urge, I plead with you guys. Um, you know, Jesus is already Lord. My man said, this is my mic today. Hey, I, I seen this before I, I'm watching this here with you guys. But one thing I like is that sometimes when I review these clips before I watch them with you guys, I sometimes forget every little detail. Like I'm not watching it nearly as intently as I am now when I do review them. So sometimes I forget, and this man literally had a whole call to invitation. Like, this man opened the doors of the church, if you guys know what I'm talking about. For those of y'all who grew up in the church, knowing what that means, this guy is calling them to an altar call, practically. This guy's got it. He, he's open to have intercession right now. <laughs> he's literally imploring these people. And, and that's powerful, man. And, and, and notice he was saying things in the very beginning there just so far, and you're going to see the rest of it here, but he was already saying things that warranted, in my opinion, some sort of a response from the audience, from the guests that are there, but they're just not uttering anything. It starts to make me think that, is there something wrong? Like what happened to where... Because I know you go to a wedding, people are just used to hearing maybe funny jokes. Well, tell me something about how you guys met. Tell me something funny about the bride. Like, tell me something funny about the groom. Like, but it's, it's to have this happen, I know it could catch people off guard, but I'm not trying to pass any judgment on the guest. But you guys let me know what you think about this. But I got a question. 
with what he's saying up here, this groom, and what, what this bride and groom are standing on together as a union before Christ in front of their loved ones, shouldn't there be at least some kind of response going on? Hand clapping? Uh, yes, sir, or a amen, or a praise God, or a finger snapping like it's poet night? I, something. But it's like, I mean, I know they're outdoors, but I feel it's it's pretty it's so quiet in there. You could even still hear a pin drop on that grass floor. <laughs> Let's keep this going, y'all. Um, I'm not asking you, you know, maybe accept it or maybe maybe this is something that you guys should uh, consider. Jesus already, Lord, uh, submit under the lordship of Christ. But I promise you on the other side, I mean, he's given He's given us grace and mercy and kindness. He, he allows us to have a relationship with him. Um, you guys can have a relationship with an eternal God, the creator of this universe. I mean, just look over here. How do you, how could you not think that there's a creator? Um, so I just want to let you guys know that, that that's why we're here. Um, we're here because um, we love Christ. We love each other and we want to show you guys that. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to pray us in um, and then we're going to eat. And in the name of Jesus, and, and, and in good faith, we're going to go turn up on the dance floor <laughs> and get lit. <laughs> Just because I'm a Christian, don't mean I, dance, I don't dance, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to get lit tonight. All right, y'all. Uh, let me pray this in. Now, I like that, you know. Hey, you know, in Jesus' name and in good faith. We're going to get out there on that dance floor and we're going to get lit. You know, I know the culture of the word lit has, you know, attached itself to certain things and certain activities and uh, stuff that you have to participate in in order to actually, in fact, be considered lit. Uh, but uh, I, I like that there. Like I said, man, you know, I like when I see things like this because uh, I like it when we can show people, people who are in the faith and people who are believing in God and people who are actually getting married, even young people like these, these two here, and we can show them what it looks like when you do have God on your side. A lot of people will think that Christians, you know, uh, live barren lives or, you know, just so uptight and um, struggling and just always battling. And you no, know, God gives peace, man. He definitely provides peace in the midst of a storm, any storm, man, God is peace. You know, he provides love also, you know, it's just a lot of things that, that, that this young couple here that me and my wife, uh, had when we were uh, first married because we had God, there were so many things that were on our side because we had God. We've survived so many years and we've been in love together for so many years because we have a God. He's taught us what it really means to love. On our own, we can love the way that the world will love, and that'll end up in separation, fights, anger, upset, divorced, split home, split holidays, all that destructive stuff that the enemy wants. But when you have God, you start to learn the character of God. And when you build a relationship with him individually, you start to really learn and feel just how much he loves you, just how much he cares for you, just how much he wants you to succeed, just how much he wants you to come home with him, just how much he wants you to be in heaven and the king of kings with him. You start to realize that and you're like, wow, if I can get this kind of love when I know myself individually, that I'm not deserving and I'm not worthy of it because I make mistakes, because I mess up, because sometimes I can be disobedient. That will put me in a position and that will put and that puts so many people in a position to where you will really say, wow. I really know what love is now unconditional love nothing attached no strings attached just love just god that's all i got for y'all man god bless you i'm out don't forget to get your copy of matters of life by clicking the link in the description today